Okay, we are back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a connection to the battery. I actually switched the battery around already. So I turned it around and I am going to um, make a connection from the battery to the um, um, to the starter switch. And again, it's just a temporary starter switch. Um, so it is, let me lower this a little bit. So, there's that end. So this end, I put a bullet terminal. So the game plan here is that I need to get power to the um, starter switch. And then power is going to be transferred from the power switch, from the ignition switch to the solenoid on the, on the starter. Okay, so I've got this wire, and here is kind of how I, this is a, this is a switch that I have, and main power goes in here, right here. So I'm going to put this here. I, obviously. When I connect the two leads, I, I complete the circuit and you hear it beep. So right now the switch is turned off. So here's power and this, this, I know that there is a, there's a terminal in there, but it's, I connect that it does not beep. So there's no connected circuit. So I turn the switch once. And there's no connection there. And there's no connection there. I turn it again. Okay, so that is basically, I'm turning the ignition on. And this slot right here will be for the starter. So, well, it'll be for the wire going to the solenoid on the starter. So I'm gonna put this in here. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to turn the switch. So when I turn the switch, it it's going to send 12 volts to the um, solenoid just to turn the motor. Well, to turn and to bridge over so that the um, um, the starter actually turns. So hopefully it's gonna work. Um, and hopefully the starter's gonna work, but I've got another starter or two that we can kind of get going. So I next need to create a wire to go from the switch because I've got one wire already to go from the battery to the uh, starter um, and so the next one would be a wire going from the solenoid right here to the switch okay so stand by be back in a second let me get another wire okay I got another wire so I'm gonna create the end
And so this one gets a female spade terminal. That's how it connects to the starter. And so we're gonna crimp it. And, and this wire just happened. Okay, so I've got this wire crimped. This end goes right here on the back of the solenoid. I've already got a bullet terminal here. So I am going to, let me connect this first. Okay, so that is connected. And we already said that this one, this is for where the starter connects. So, well, that's really loose. That's good enough for now. I don't like how loose that is though, but it's, and so, and the power will go in here. And I guess I'm assuming that the battery is charged up enough. I don't know. Um, I got a jumper pack though. So let's see how we go. Good news is, is that I'm not, it's not sparking. And I have a, um, I put an extra long bolt in here just so that I can add and subtract things really quickly and easily. Okay, so we have this connected. If I have power to the battery, it will work. So I'm just hope I just want to see if I can turn the motor over. So let's see where we're at. Okay, motor's turning over. That is good. Let me put a jumper pack on it. So, because the battery seems very weak. We know the starter works, which is good. So let's try it again. Okay, looks good. I'm going to take the spark plugs out so that um, we can check the compression, why not? We can see where we are at. So, okay. It looks like it's been running really kind of rich, but 
This spark plug looks new too. I don't think I replaced these plugs. I'm gonna take the plug off on the other side now as well. Okay. Got the compression tester, so I don't think even my um, battery pack is that charged. So it is. Um, hopefully, I took the plug off the other side, so hopefully we have nice. Um, There's a, it's, it's, it's not, there's not enough stress on it to prevent from turning over. Okay, so let's see where we're at. We are at 70 pounds on this side. And I don't have to tell you that that's not that great. So that's the first side. Here is the second side. You gotta take a look at this while I hit the switch on the other side. That has 70 pounds also, so we have a little bit of compression. And I um So that's kind of, I wonder where it's coming from. So why don't we just do a quick leak down test so we can determine where everything is coming from. And so I have like a leak down test tool. But you know what, before we do that, Let's see if we have spark. <laughs> 